Good evening. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. My name is Barry. And I'm Jay. And together we are Matusu Crafts. Yes. Welcome to our channel. We're in the business of in-up demonstrators based in the UK. See if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, or the Netherlands, you'll be able to purchase current stuff and applicants from our online shop. Do use the current host code, which can be found on our website at mitosucrafts.com to receive a handmade card from us the following month, or any extra gift if you order. Order. If you want. <laughs> Do they need to start or again and play his teeth in? I think so. We've <laughs> got a few technical issues. I think he's got a few technical issues. <laughs> yes, welcome to our channel. Thank you so much for joining us. He's going to play some Ordle. <laughs> or did I? <laughs> uh, anyway, yes. Um, we give away the handmade cards that we create. Um, so pop in a comment on our YouTube channel. <laughs> Uh, so on the YouTube video, so if this is the first time we're, that we're streaming on Facebook and YouTube simul simultaneously. Yes, we are multi-streaming. We are, we are, um, like Jay says, yes, we are on two platforms at exactly the same time. So I um, wanted to try it. Yes, which probably had two technical <laughs> issues. And I, I tested it all the other day and it's working fine and I go and hit the go live button tonight and um, technical. Yes. Problem. But we're there, I think. Yeah. So if you want us, if you're watching this on YouTube, Hello, if you're watching this on Facebook, hello. But if you'd like to win the card, as Jay just mentioned, um, you do need to be in on YouTube to watch us because that's where we'll be pulling your names from in from the comments. So, um, yes, but I'll let you carry on. Yes, I, I can't remember. Uh, yes, we give away the the, car, the projects that we create, so uh, pop in a comment on the YouTube video. Uh, also, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so yes. as well. So the I just want to I just want to try something. I've got something new here as well. I was going to say, hi Liz. I can now bring up your wow. comments on the screen as well. Say how hi hi to you. Oh, I'm, so, I'm so happy with all of this. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, before we give away this card that I created a week ago, uh, because we weren't in on yes, Wednesday. we were we were out out on Wednesday. We went yeah. to go and see. Um, RuPaul's Drag Race UK at our local theatre, the Anvil, um, which is a nice evening out. But yeah, yes. sorry for all of you that were waiting. We did. Jay told me at seven o'clock. I didn't delete the link. The link's still active, and I'm going. Sorry. Oh my god! So now, so we left it up there. To, but yes, we do apologise for everyone that was waiting. But um, we appreciate you commenting. But yes, we we had a nice night out when we got, went to go and see it. So um, yeah. Have you got the um, thing up yet? Yeah. Have I got the what up? Oh no, I haven't even got that ready. I haven't even got yes. that part ready. So Jay's just going to need to talk for a moment because I've forgotten to do something. Yes, so um, the card that I created a week ago was this one, which was inspired by the card that I created for a blog <laughs> hop. I can't, I can't remember, remember which one. one. <laughs> oh no, the um, Casually Crafting blog hop, which was um, Color Inspiration Hop, which was using Fresh Freesia, Rich Russell. Russell Berry, <laughs> Russell Berry, and all the other. Um, so if you haven't added your comment yet on the video for that one, uh, check out the link on the chat on top as well. And I did share the card. It was another card out of the hop that I created that inspired this layout. It's I, I really like the fold actually because it opens up and it's got and I use some DSP which is always good. Um, from there. Um, coming up, celebration is ending tomorrow, so celebration is a um, promotion that Stampin' Up! does um, on January and February and you get free stamp sets or DSP when you place a qualifying order from our online shop. Uh, also, if you join our Stampin' Up! team during um, celebration, you get two free stamp sets of your choice so it ends tomorrow uh which is i think 10 p.m or 11 p.m it'll probably be about 10 if we say 10 p.m to be on the safe side um yeah. we'll 28th of february instead of me just yes. saying tomorrow get your get your order in <laughs> sooner rather than later if you are going to place an order then that way um you know you're gonna qualify definitely for the freebie items Yes. So good. So we are all up now. So sorry about that. I forgot to put up the live draw. So Jay's just going to say hi to everyone. It's just giving you a few more time, a few bit more time, just to yes, um, get your comments in, and um, 
So we have, I think it's deleted some on top already. Where is that on top? Okay. No, that's fine. That's okay. all right. So we have Connie. Hello. We have Betty, Janelle Anderson, uh, Kathy, Betty H, Janice, Angelina. Hello. Sandra, Mandy, our Madam Favor count, Request Counting Commissioner. I nearly forgot. Uh, Teresa, we have Caroline, Nani Shasha. Yay. <laughs> You're not, waiting not for me as, to look at you. Not as good as um, you, Jay. No, you do it. Um, you do it well. We also have Suki, <laughs> <laughs> Kathy S. We have Angie, hello, Wendy, hi Janice, Sylvia, um, Jackie Elliot, Sherry, hi Sherry, Linda, also we have Susan, who else we got, Sue, Joanne, Lavinia, Christine, Joanne Porter, Cheryl, wow loads, uh, Linda, hi Linda, Louise, Tilly, Anne, hi Anne, Mindy B, uh, Janice, hi Janice, Jassel Dassel Craft with Janice. <laughs> I lost myself. Liz, Lizzie, hello. Uh, the Wolf, the Wolverina. That's that's my blade coming out. <laughs> Paula, um. Valerie and Mary and John, hi. And Kathy. My name is, is that La Lanny? I can't say, can't read that properly. From the Wolverine. What's that one there? Lanny. Hi, Lanny. Lanny. Oh, I... Love your name. No, it's okay. And Mary. Yes, that's it. So, lovely. All right. So, thank you all so much for joining us. So, we're going to give away this lovely card right here, right now. So, if you popped a comment in on the video, then um, previously to this one, then um, yeah, we're going to be in a chance of winning it. So, we're going to go over to that right now, and then we're going to crack on with tonight's demonstration, where I'm going to be using a lovely Kite Delight stamp set here. It's going to be some two very simple, um, relaxing cards. I've really enjoyed making these, but they are, yeah, they're going to be, hopefully, you're going to enjoy them. So Cool. Let's go for that. Amazing. I'll just refresh that. So if you are watching this over on Facebook, do say hi. I know we've got um, Hannah was in there from Facebook as well. I saw Hannah pop in from Facebook. Um, the comments have disappeared. Oh, there. Hannah, Sheila. Hi, Sheila's watching us from Facebook as well. And we've got Liz Bennett and um, Louise. Louise. But I think, Louise, you've come over here on YouTube. Cool. So good. So have we got some names in there now? We have. Yeah, How many did it go to? Refresh. 34. 34. Thanks everyone, so good luck. Who's it gonna be? And the winner is Maureen. Maureen. Congratulations, Maureen. Congratulations, Maureen. If you'd like to email us, please, Barry and Jay at matusicrafts.com. We will pop that card in the post to you if you so wish. Just 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 remind us of your um, address once again, please. Um, just in case anything has changed or it's not on my file, on the Royal Mail file, and we will pop that card over to you. But there we go, Maureen. This card is working its way to you. And Suki is also saying congratulations there in the background if you can hear her. You say congratulations, Suki. Suki? Good girl. Good girl. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. So, um, let me just clear a few things down here. So, excellent. So I'm just going to have a little look. Hi, Sheila, over on facebook thank you so much for joining us yes this is new it's nice that you can join us sheila because obviously you don't normally join us do you because we're not usually live on facebook so um yes so thank you all for joining us okay so kite delight this one right here now this initially wasn't actually on my shopping list but i saw another demonstrator Leslie leslie from um oh i've gone blank i can't remember her dragon is dragonfly crafts, crafts. If Leslie pops on, I'll, I'll shout her out. She normally sometimes does. Um, she did a dem lovely demonstration with this. And I thought, I like it. And I'm going to buy it. And I have. But tonight is the first time I've actually used it. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So some nice, really relaxing cards. A bit of very basic colouring. We're going to be doing a bit of tools. 
Oh, I need to. I've, I've forgotten something <laughs> already. I got it already, but I've left it over by the TV. Can I have the two ink pads which are over on the TV and the two blending brushes, please? Is that four? No, that's just one because it's just one order. If I sit down and then get back up. If you bring it over to me individually, then it'll be four, but I have asked for them all together. You're supposed to be saying what they are. Oh, okay. What? <laughs> blending brushes. <laughs> and we've got the white, um, Whisper White um, stamping pad, and we have also got Barbie Blue ink pad right here. So I'm going to be doing a few techniques with these as well. Hi, Sandra, over on YouTube. Hello, and Louisa. Thank you so much for joining us. So, yes, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, a bit of blending, a bit of fussy cutting, but this is such an easy set to fussy cut because it's if, as long as you can cut in a straight line, which I say that, that sometimes that can be quite difficult. <laughs> that's the hardest one. Um, but if you get their straight lines, apart from this one right here, a little bit bendy, but um, it's, yeah, they're, they're very easy to cut out. Okay, so I've got everything ready. So what I'm going to do is I have got some cardstock. I've got some plain paper. And I've got this. So I'm just going to cut my card bases down to size first. So I say these could should be quite relatively quick and easy cards, but let's see how long it takes me to to do these. So I'm just going to cut my card base down to size here, 14.6, and I'm going to get prepared two of them because I'm going to be making two cards. So 14.6 is our card base which we decide to use, and then I'm going to score that in half at 10.5 to create my, my card base. Okay, so that's those right there. I'm also gonna be taking some normal basic white. So for the first one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this to 10 centimeters. by um, 14.1 centimetres. Let me just see whether or not I'm happy with that. Nope, I want to come down one more. So I want to take that to nine and a half. So I've always start, I always take some, to, sometimes I try to start off a little bit larger than I necessarily need and assess it. So I've actually taken one centimetre off. And that's going to be a mat and layer on this one right here. Thank you so much, Maureen. Did you see that you were a winner? I'm hoping that's pro it's. Um, if you come on, I'm not sure. I haven't seen the comments. Some of you might want to get your guesses in already because I've already put. <laughs> I've already asked for one. I've already asked for one thing. So don't start at zero. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to cut myself some balmy blue here at nine and a half, the same size, nine and a half by 13.6. There's a comment from Louise, um, if you wanted to maybe highlight it if you want to. Yes, I will do. I'll wait for it to pop up on my, um, on the iPad. But yes, I will, um, Louise, your question now. See, Louise's question, I thought your card base was 14.9 and the second and the scored at 10.5. You're, you're not doing anything wrong whatsoever. That is what's, I, what majority of people do. We just find it easier to come down to 14.6, which is because um, we convert obviously a lot of our stuff over into inches. Um, we convert over to inches quite a lot uh, for our for our um, for our classes, and it's just easier for us to go first um, five and three quarters, fourteen point six. It's just easier because otherwise it's it becomes sixteenths of an inch and eighths of an inch, and it was just a little bit more tricky. So you know you're not doing nothing wrong. Fourteen point nine will be exactly half of your um, half of your paper. Um, but, to be exact, fourteen point eight five. Yeah, to be exact, it'll be fourteen point eight five. To be exact, fourteen point nine. And all we're doing is we're just losing a we're just losing a strip of paper from our cardstock. It's just it's just the way that we decide to do it. Um, so it um, it's just easier for us to, to to do it. So I hope that clears um, that answers that question there for you. Um, and the comments aren't coming through. Oh, there we go. 
comments aren't always coming through here. So. Is it quite slow? Yeah, so I'm um, yeah, I'm not yeah. sure, but that's fine. I was going to try and highlight your um, comment, but I can't. It's not. It's not showing up for me. Um, so that's fine. So I've gone ahead and I've gone and done that. So I've got my two pieces here, which are exactly the same size. Now, if I wanted to be a bit more frugal, I could probably cut this down to a smaller size and just use what I need. But um, it's just easier to stick this down on top of each other. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to grab my die. So I've got myself a circle die and I'm just going to take a circle out of this right here. So I'm going to bring over my... Oh, Jan, you're um, expecting me to be a bit asky tonight, aren't you? <laughs> Did you put a hundred? No, she put four. Oh. <laughs> I'm only on one so far. I'm going to keep it at one, I think. I think that was four already, wasn't it? No, Jan? it wasn't four already. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop this in like so, and I'm just overhanging it just a tiny bit. So, you'll see in a moment, you can kind of see on the screen, but I'm just overhanging it. going to run that free. Yeah, you know, you sort like you do your um, sizes as well. So I think it's whatever works best for um, for the individual, really. And it was Leslie's Dragonfly Paper Crafts. That's it. Leslie's Dragonfly Paper Crafts is who initially sold this set to me. I was sort of like, oh, I wasn't going to get it. And then I saw her do a demo and I thought, that's nice. I quite like that. So that's going to go on like this. Um, so you can see I could probably, could probably could have cut this down to size. But it's just easier for when it comes to sticking this on later on. That is just just put it on there and then it's exactly the same. Same as. Keep this part here because this is actually what I'm going to be using the second card for. So I'm going to pop that to one side. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to grab myself a bit of scrap of paper right here. And I'm going to take my blue piece. I've also got myself a bit of copy paper. And I'm going to create myself some clouds. Alright. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my copy paper. And I'm just going to just do some clouds right here. So I'm just making some hills, or they look like hills, but I'll do some big ones. Do some little ones, and I'm gonna go all the way along this card. Let's put a paper. So it just kind of creates ourselves a little bit of a mask. So you can use the negative or the positive um, or the top or the bottom, so whatever way you want to do it. And then I'm just going to then just keep an eye on this. So as this goes on here, I'm going to create myself some clouds through this. So pop that to one side and this is where I'm going to then use the white. And I've got myself a brush here and I'm going to do some white. Now this is very sticky. So just be careful with this um, and just pick up a little bit and I'll kind of, it does, it's very sticky so do just make sure you're not going to stick your fingers into this and I find that sometimes it's easier to take off the excess on the scrap paper and then pull it up but I'm try and hold on to the card, the blue cardstock or whatever cardstock you're using underneath. And then just pull this white into it. And then you can see that we create ourselves some cloud. And just move this around and do exactly the same. Pick up a little bit more. Well, 
wobble. Yeah, sorry about the wibble wobbles. Okay, and then we're going to bring this in a little bit more like this. So it comes a little bit harder as we get to the base because I haven't got as much um, blue to hold on to. I'm just going to tease it on like so. I'm just going to have a little look at my positioning now and see if I need to do anything else. I may just need to just soften this a little bit down the bottom, maybe down here, just a little bit lower. So I'm just going to bring a little bit down like that. And just a little bit of white on there is just going to soften that a little bit at the base. So you can see, it's just softened that a little bit. So when I come to then stick this on here, it's just a little bit softer all the way through. So I think that's a really nice technique. I've seen you can keep this and save this and then do something else of it if you want, but it is only on copy paper, so it's not um, it's not um, it's not too expensive to do it. What have we got coming up? Uh, I'm, I'm still catching up. Um, are you talking about this stamp set here, Sherry? So. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to then just stick this directly onto the, the the basic white directly onto the blue. Okay, so this is nice and there's no worrying about lining this up at all. It's nice and easy to do because it's the same size. Just go go around to your arch as well, just so it sticks everything down, and then. Are you showing a sneak peek of your project for Stamp Around the UK? Or me? Yeah. No. <laughs> Why? Because of your background. <laughs> no. Oh, um, yes. <laughs> Shh. Check it out tomorrow. No. One <laughs> Tuesday. Tuesday. Shouldn't have said nothing, Jay. I don't think anyone would notice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, that's gone down directly onto that. Okay. So, and I think it just works really quite nicely with this blue aperture. Now you could have got easily have cut a blue piece out and then stuck this on as well, but then you wouldn't have the off cut um, for this one, which is what I'm going to use for the second card. But again, you could always quite easily cut one out for the second card. So it makes, it makes no difference really. It's just that I'm using. And again, what you could do is if you're not posting anything out, then you could then raise this part up on dimensionals as well and um, will, will mean that you will double dimension your cards so uh, but I'm, so that's why I'm keeping it single but you could pop it up on dimensionals if you wanted to um, if you're not posting it so that's that one then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab my kite so this eventually will get stuck onto so we're going to have white on white cardstock right here that's going to go down but first of all I just need to finish this off I need to pop some stamping on down at the bottom right here which actually I can do that now because I know where I want to pop the sentiment so I've got myself here I'm going to be using um, another year flies by happy birthday and I like the font on this stamp set I think this is really nice it's a nice strong bold font inking that up and then I'm gonna then pop this down at the bottom down here just need to bring this off camera a little bit so I can get this straight just bear with me one moment that's it and I'll bring that up so that there is now transferring that ink over and there we have it another year flies by happy birthday is going down like so. So I pop that to one side and then we're gonna then just take a bit of scrap paper right here. So this one, so a bit of um, basic white and I'm gonna do some stamping. So I'm gonna stamp my two um, kites. So I'm taking the two designs, I'm taking the one with the flowers here and I'm gonna take this one right here and I'm just gonna stamp these down onto some basic white cardstock. So I've got them both mounted on a bit of um, bit of paper because they are gonna get on a bit of on a mount because they are gonna get cut out. 
So I can ink them both up together. You alright, Jay? Yes, I'm still hot. I'm still, I'm still adding this world. Thank you, everyone. Alright, and then we'll just stamp this down. Like so. They stamp just beautifully. Okay, so we're going to do some basic colouring with this one. I'm just going to grab my tub, which is over here. So I've got a I've got a load of blends here. I've kind of just grabbed a load of colours, but you don't need you don't need too many. But I have got ever I think everything under the sun going on here at the moment. So I'm going to take myself a bit of yellow. That mango melody again, but um, that's good. But I also have got um, Daffodil Delight, I think I've got here. I'm going to take myself a little bit of pink. So I'm going to take a little bit of Petal Pink, and I'm going to have myself a bit of blue, or a bit of blue, a bluey green, and I'm going to take, I think I've got some pool party to start off with. So we're just going to do some simple colouring on the flower one. So I'm just gonna take, I've got it, it's, let's just see, let's do, daff, da, do Daffodil Delight. That's it, and I'm just gonna color in the flower here in Daffodil Delight. Again, this is very basic coloring. I'm not actually using the blends to how they are designed to be used for blending and creating depth, I'm just using these as block colouring, which is why it's so simple. Mandy wants me to count on Wednesday. On Wednesday? Yeah, because she's off to the cabinet. I will count berries. Okay, so it looks like I'm doing Wednesday's video then. <laughs> <laughs> Can you add them there already, Mandy? <laughs> right, so we'll just do that one there. Yeah. Okay, that's that one. And then I'm going to take the petal pink and then I'm just going to give this a, a pink centre. Like that, and then I will then just finish this off, and then I will colour the background in this lovely, what we've we got, we've got pool party lights going on here. So, have we got people watching us over on Facebook as well, Jay, do we know? Yeah, there's currently 16, Excellent. but I don't know who. Hello everyone over on Facebook, thank you so much for joining us. Do say hi in the comments, um, it does come through to me, or it should come through to me here um, over on the YouTube. But if you would like a chance of winning these cards, you do need to be watching us via YouTube. I did pop the link, um, will be around. Um, but come over to our YouTube channel, Matisse Craft, if you want to, and pop a comment in the live chat, and we'll be picking a winner at the end. But it will—it's going to be coming from the from the YouTube feed, okay? But if you're just happy with us watching us, thank you so much. So that's that. So that's Not that flower. <clears throat> what was that, Jay? Not many's got this set, and they're waiting for you to see if they're gonna. Wait to see if I can. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. So Leslie did it to me. She sold it to me, and I wasn't gonna get it. And I thought, no, I really like this set. Um. So let's see whether or not I can do it to you. And I'm gonna colour the other one in now. So I'm gonna take myself some Highland Heather. If I got some Highland Heather, right there. Oh, that was it. I got a brand new. I got a new Highland Heather out, and I'm just going to colour this one like so. It's a fun set. I said to I said to Jay when I finished making my prototypes. I said, I really enjoyed making those. 
and um, I've just been joined by cats. I've, I'm just going to show you again. You know us. I've just been joined by Tommy, who's now just decided to perch himself on my shoulder like a parrot. Okay, so Tommy, you're going to have to get yourself down. You're going to have to get down on your own because I'm not asking Jay to come and get you because that class is one point. <laughs> Tommy, please. It'll be two because I got Minnie. Minnie will be helping me. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to have to work with him for a moment. Come, down again. Good boy. Okay. Let's go back over. That's it. <laughs> Um, so we've got the Highland Heather in there, and then I am then going to then go with some... I've got myself some Magenta Madness, it's a real bright colour. Okay, and that's... Tommy, you're going to have to disappear for a moment. Tommy, come here. This is such a bright colour. on there and then I reckon I will then take some yellow again and then I've just got myself a little bit of blue so as it chucks it on the floor and then I'll just do that I'm just going to colour in all of the the inner parts here as well. So I'm just going to colour in this here. I think there's, I think with this stamp set as well, there's the possibility of making some very simple cards. You can take it to, um, I've seen some people have done some slider cards where you can put, you pull a tab and then the kite slides and flies through the sky. There's some, um, there's a variety of things. I, I like a set which gives you some, gives you a, a variety here. All right, so that there is some of my kites done for you. Let's pop my blends away. And then what I'm gonna do, is I'm just going to cut these out. So as I said earlier on, it's so simple. We're going to have one straight line going up here. One straight line going down there. I will come back to that in a moment. Okay. And then this is the only one which is actually curved, so then just round. And for those of you obviously who don't don't like fussy cutting, I never used to like fussy cutting, but that was only because I think I used to try and get the go on the black line. Whereas Jay always used to cut it like our dyes do and leaves a white border to it. And I found it so much more easier to fussy cut out if I wasn't trying to um to do anything trying to get it too close to that black line because the white line normally just disappears anyway into the card it means everything still you're not interfering with the bit with the stamped image so if you cut it slightly wrong or make a black line ever too slightly too thin it doesn't look odd There we have those two like that. So really, really simple. So what we're going to do now is we're going to bring this back in again, and I'm going to stamp my the base of my kite. So the kite is going to go there, and I'm going to stamp this kind of in the middle right here. And I'm going to be using some memento again. This is Memento, which we've got. It's just that we've, we've re-inked up one of our, our little spots. And I'm using this. Um, it's because it's juicier than our other ones. Juicy. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to then stamp this on over the clouds. And 
just let that soak in and then bring that off. Okay, and I'm just going to do a little bit of colouring on this again. So I just need to find my colour. I will take this with the dark pool party. Okay, and I'm just going to colour in the bits right here. So it kind of goes over the top of the the clouds, the white, it does interfere with it a little bit, but it doesn't make any, it, you don't, it's so small that you don't see it, that's fine, so. It's almost like the, the white crafting, because it repels it a little bit, doesn't it, Jay? I don't really know. If it's wet, yeah. Okay, so that is that one right there. And then to finish this one up, what we're gonna do is I'm just going to then stick that there and I'm gonna stick one down here like this. And I'm gonna stick these onto some dimensionals, which is why I didn't do the base on dimensionals. I just did these on dimensionals just so we didn't add any additional height to it. So what do you think? Do you like this set? Are we some, some. are we convincing you, or are you still on the fence? Some of you. All right, and then that's going to go over like so. I can't remember who it said, but um, they said one of the kite looks like a, a UFO. Oh. and then I'm gonna pop that one down like that and then what we're gonna do is we will then take our card base and then stick this to the card base and then that there is card number one done still on the fence still on the fence maybe I'll have to do some more with you on them um, on Wednesday stick that down like so so one of you is going to win this card so if you are saying hi in the live chat over on YouTube then one of you will be winning this because we're gonna say we're gonna pick one of you live okay so that there is card number one i think this is really it does lend itself you can do more you could emboss this background you could probably put some more clouds on it if you wanted to there is a lot more you could do but i think it's quite quite a nice little simple birthday card clean and simple it's nice and white which we quite like our white cards um but yeah i think that works quite nicely so that there is card number one okay so let me just pop that to one side when it comes to card number two we're going to be doing the same thing and um, I've got myself my card base sorted right here and I've got that piece which I prepared earlier on so I'm going to be doing some more blending again with this so this time I'm going to bring in my balmy glue and um, Tommy is now sleeping <laughs> on the piece of scrap paper which I put to one side so I just use this scrap paper and I grab my clouds again and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some clouds with some blue. Bless is on. Hi, Leslie. Yes, Leslie, who's just popped on now, she's the one that did the demonstration that then made me then go, I want that stamp set. So, Leslie, it's your fault. <laughs> so I've got myself some Barbie blue, I've got myself a brush, and I'm just going to do the same thing again. I'm just going to create myself some blue clouds. Let's 
So using that mask which we done earlier on, I'm just gonna create myself these little things like so holding on to it you are going to get some inky fingers right here so just be aware of that and once you've done the top layer you could add a repositionable tape on top finally to keep it in place yes yeah you could actually do you want tape no, it's fine. I will um, work around it. <laughs> All right. So what you can do, um, you can either stick it down with some tape or turn it upside down and then bring over your bits right here. And then you can then hold the two and then bring this in. Almost looks a little bit like um, waves as well. You can kind of like do some different effects. I'm just holding the two in place here. Just do need to be careful that it doesn't move. So on this bottom one, I just wanted just a little hint of it. So I'm not too fussed about it not being too strong. And that there. Is kind of going to be my clouds. All right, and I've just realized I may have done that the wrong way around, but that's fine. I would just where are you going to do that because I, I just realized that on my prototype I've done it that way around, and that does look like I've now got waves rather than clouds, but that's fine. I will then do it this way around, and then I'll show you what it looked like. The um on my original, on the opposite side. Yeah, Billy says um, that looks like waves. Yes. So that way, I think it looks like clouds. That way, it looks like waves. Okay, so. Oh, Mandy, let's bring that up so everybody can see that one there. Look at that. You brought your own um, stencil, yeah, scanner cut, and brought some stencil sheets from Amazon. Good idea. So that's going to go on like that, but that's going to go this side now. Now I'm not going to stick this down just yet, because what I want to do is I just want to grab myself some other bits. I'm going to grab myself my sun. So I'm just going to stamp this. And yes, I am going to fussy cut out my son. We're colourless in with the Daffodil Delights again here. So I've just got this simple colouring. There we go, that's that coloured in there. And then I'm just going to cut this one out. This, again, it's, it's relatively simple, it's not that difficult, not really, to cut this out. Just down. Up. Round. So what's everyone been saying, Jay, anything? He's too busy writing all of your names down. So just cut this out. I didn't realise I had to click on the video on Facebook to see the comments. <laughs> what, you? <laughs> Oh, what, they're not coming up? You thought they were going to come up on your feed there? Yeah, because yeah. I was just on the page. But uh, we have Lisa, uh, Lisa 
Uh, this is still us there. Sheila, we have. Hi, uh, Lisa. Hi, Sheila. Yeah. Leslie was also the first. And Sue, we have Sue there. Or Sue. Our Sue. Yeah, or Sue Hookins. Sue Hookins. Hi, Sue. Our Sue. <laughs> <laughs> Or I'll sue, I'll and you sue. can't get away from us. <laughs> she just said she, she wants to get this set as well. Lovely. So there we go. Now the reason I uh, the reason I fussy cut this out rather than stamping this directly down onto it because obviously I want it to go on the card base, and then because I'm going to be colouring it in, I then didn't want the the ink to come through. Now if I was doing this on a white layer. And then sticking it down, I probably wouldn't be fussy cutting out this um, this out, but it was just because I didn't want the blends to go through and then go onto the background. Okay, I could, I suppose I can use the insert, I can put an insert in there to cover it up, but no, I'm, I'm not doing that. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my a pencil here, I'm gonna pop this in position, roughly where I want this. And I'm just gonna grab the, just gonna take a pencil and I'm just gonna gently go around this. Like so. Because what I wanna do is I wanna grab the cloud here. I didn't, do you wanna show me where to put it on the cloud? Okay. All right, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use some smoky slates. And I'm just going to add these around like this. Now part of it's going in on the kind of like going in on that circle. So you can see what I've done there. I've got some of it's on the inside, so I know that's going to then be covered up. But it's just so I know where the placement is going to be. Like that. So when I come to then stick this down like that, I knew I know where it's gonna be and the clouds are gonna be behind. And that pencil line isn't gonna show anyway. It's it's so faint. So obviously you can get yourself a, a rubber and run it out, but if you do it really faint, it's not gonna show. It's not gonna notice. Alright, so then I can go ahead and I can then stick this one down. So using some dimensionals. Yeah, we've, um, Mary, just seen your comment there about them flying the kites in the fields. We've, we're have we lucky enough, and we've got a really big field right opposite our, um, opposite our flat, which I'm sure one day will eventually be built on. You used to run on. around it, aren't you? Huh? What were you going to say? I was going to say about, about, about flying kites. Yeah. I know we haven't flown a kite over there before, but we've got this. So it's quite a big field, and it's quite open. And then we get these. Um, we there is a, there's a couple that go over there and they fly these big, big kites, don't they? Yeah. Jay? And it's quite fun to watch, like these um, competition stunt kites, and they're huge. And yeah, you some, they're so big that sometimes it picks them up off of the ground and um, carries them along the field. It's quite funny. So before I stick that on, I'm going to fold and burnish this because obviously it's going to be easier for me to fold and burnish this before I stuck this part down. But yeah, I'll go to the beach. I remember flying kites on the beach as a kid, and even as an adult, um, we flown kites. <laughs> yes, we did. Yeah. Went to the Isle of Wight, and I think we got we got some kites and flew them on the beach. Do you remember that, Mum? So that's going on, like so, like that. All right, and then we will then have the sun, which is going to go up the top here. Just one dimensional on that one. And we'll stick that up there like so. All right, and then we will then grab this one. I'm gonna do some stamping again. So I'm gonna use some basic gray for this one. Now initially I did, um, some I did it in black, but the black was too strong, so I decided to go with the basic grey, which is still strong, but it's obviously it's not as uh, it's not as strong as the black, obviously. Ink this one up, 
and then stamp this down onto some scrap paper. So I'm using the largest stamp from the set right here on this particular one. And that's that one right there. Okay. We'll do a bit of colouring. So on this one again, I'm going to be using some Highland Heather. So I'm just going to colour in, again, this is just real simple colouring. We're just going to colour in these lines. Now just be careful, I would say you, for a tip with this one here is start with a darker colour for your actual stamping of the kites and a lighter colour for your colouring in. Then that way if you go over the lines a little bit too much it's not going to show up too much. So just carefully colour these in. Alternatively, you could stamp this onto some coloured cardstock already. That would work, and then that way it would auto automatically be coloured in. Or you could stamp this onto some nice designer series paper, would be really nice as well. Yes, Jeanette earlier said um, the Simply Marvelous paper would be great for the sky. Yes, uh, it would be great for the sky as well. So I'm just going to fussy cut this one out again. So again, this one's a really easy one. Straight line. Straight line. So for anyone who's interested, just want to let you know that we um, we have got some more classes. Our online classes are up on our website. So head over to matusucrafts.com. I'll just pop that up on the screen right there, yeah. up on tomatusucrafts.com. We've got some new classes coming up and we've got an all day retreat coming up um, very soon with the Waves of the Ocean stamp set or bundle and sweets. So do check us out if you are interested in joining us for any of our online classes. And remember our online classes are open worldwide as well so it doesn't matter where you are, you can join us anywhere. So good, so there we go and that's going to go over like this but what I want to do is I need to get my sentiment so I'm going to grab this piece which I have had out earlier on grab my trimmer Lisa said let's go fly a kite up to the highest height yes yeah, see now you've got that song in my head now Lizzie thank you very much for that what song is it it's from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang isn't it I don't know how does it go I'm not going to start singing it in my head I've got it so I'm going to, <laughs> I think, is that, is that the song which I've got from, um, from you? Is it from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? All right, so I've got myself a bit of basic white. Now I'll cut this at five, um, five eighths of an inch is quite nice here. What's five eighths of an inch in centimetres? Sorry. Um, 1.5. 1 1.6. Yeah, no. 1.6 centimetres, um, five eighths of an inch is a nice size for the sentiments right here again. So I'm gonna use the same. Can very show us the stamp set again. Yes, Mandy, there you go. That there is the stamp set which we have used. Okay, so I've pretty much used everything on there apart from them. I haven't used the other bit of string coming down for the kite right here. And I haven't used that kite, the smaller one, or the sentiments. But I think that the birthday one is probably one which I would go to quite nicely. Obviously, it, it works something with um, which is, which has got a flying theme to it. So you're going to need to have something with either birds, planes, things like that, because it probably wouldn't work too well with. I don't know. Cars would work as well. Potentially. So I'm going to then use <coughs> my memento again here. Uh, it's Mary Poppins, and uh, people know it. 
Is it Mary Poppins? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I thought it was. Uh, I got Chitty Chitty Bang Bang in my head. I was on the right kind of, um, right kind of ear and <laughs> musical. So I'm gonna lend. Oh, sorry, I just need to bring this down so I can have a little look and get this over. I'm not sure if I've got that in properly. I can't see. I'm not happy with that. I didn't. Um, I didn't get that done properly. A bit easier when you haven't got a camera above your head trying to do it trying to get this straight so we'll try that again a bit of paper has two sides and if i mess up again i've got another piece right here you got a whole pack got a whole pack i'm just gonna sorry i'm gonna need to take this off camera and do this so i can get myself over it a little bit more sorry Why is it when you do things the first time round, it works absolutely fine when you're off camera, but then when you come live, it doesn't go to plan. All right, so that's uh, that. It's straighter than that at least. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to cut the end part off here. Oh, you sold it to the man. Mission succeeded. Accomplished. Okay, and so that's that one. Then all we're going to do is we're going to pop a dimension on this. So I'm actually nearly done now. Okay, so really quick tonight. So if you would like to win the first card, so if I just bring that one over again for you, if you would like to win this card right here, then you do need to just pop in a comment on the YouTube and we will send it to one of you. That's it. And then that's gonna go on. So I'm not doing the string on this particular one, but I suppose what I could do with the string if I really wanted to, is I could use... Plastic cut it. No, I'm not fussy cutting the string. That's one thing I'm not doing. Okay, it's that one. Is you could actually use some string for it if you wanted to. You could pop some a bit of um, a bit of string going on down there, and then this one here, I'm going to pop down, flat down onto this. Okay, so we will. Make sure I stick it the correct way around first so I don't stick it with one I didn't like. So which is there. And we'll just pop a little bit of glue in the middle. And on the end over here. I won't pop one over on the end there because it's not going to get stuck to anything. And then we're just going to then over that flat. Like so. To finish this off, we're going to use some gems on this particular one. So we have got the lovely, what have we got here? We've got the iridescent rhinestones. And we are going to pop some of these. Oh, sa Sandy's in uh, Facebook. Hi, Sandy. On Facebook. Said the kite tails would work with the car in the celebration, like a wedding card. Yes. And there we have it. There is card number two using the kite delight, and card number one right there. So on my original one, I did it the other way round. Um, I did it from the coming in from the right hand side, whereas I did my clouds upside down. Otherwise, I would have had waves. So. Um, which works, and obviously I did it a little bit lighter as well. So that's those two. So what do you think? 
did you like it? Oh, and Liz, you're on here as well. That's good. So, um, yeah, they are lovely bling, is those two bit, the, the iridescent rhinestones. They're really blingy. <laughs> so good. So would you like to win this first card right here? If so, and you have said hello in the comments, then um, you could win it. So I think Jay has got a few things to show you before we do the live draw. Yeah. Um, and then he's going to come over to us right now. We're going to take some last minute names. Just make sure we've got any. Ooh, we have Donna. So we're just putting in some new names. Donna, you're going into the draw. So thank you everyone for watching this over on um, on Facebook as well. Are you going to add a uh, blink to the first one? I could add blinks, okay. So I could... No, I'll, I'll leave the bling off in the first one. <laughs> you, you started getting on now. I did, I got panicky from <laughs> doing what I'm doing. I can hear it in your voice. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm just going to get the live draw ready and we will then pick a winner for the first card. But whilst we're doing that, Jay's been busy doing some stuff today. Um, so yes, yeah, so Barry's um, done well. That was actually your first time using that stamp. It was, yeah. It? Brand um, new today. Yes, and you on, only started playing like a couple of hours ago. Yeah. So well done. I love it. Um, I do love the designs of these and um, great ideas coming off on the chat there as well with other stencils. So yeah, Maureen won this card um, earlier and I did mention the another card that inspired that, which is this one. And this one was actually done with watercolor pencil. Uh, and the sentiment is from the Waves of Inspiration, um, which is this one. So you may have seen these on our social media. And this is the one that will be doing the online retreat uh, a sneak peek of another card this one uh, was actually from a uh, inspire and create with stamping up insta hop uh, or inspiration hop uh, which was a color inspiration and i did another card but it turned out slightly darker but a lot of texture on that one i haven't blocked that yet um on our youtube channel as well this one from the Global Stamping Video Hub, a simple modern card using basic tools. Uh, this one's actually one of the samples. Uh, there's an even basic uh, one without any heat embossing. It's just using square pieces of color cardstock and, uh, and um, embossing with thicker brick tool. Another um, sneak peek is this one with celebration items. Uh, friendly hello uh, love this card this is what I've been working with today and yesterday and I don't know if I've shared this one um, I'll be doing some more co online coloring this one was done with the uh, pencils watercolor pencils as well uh, I haven't tried in the moment yet with stamping blends but yeah. hopefully soon lovely anyway so okay. good so if you've popped a comment in over on YouTube then they're gonna be oh if I just um, caught the name and I didn't realise I needed to do that one there. There we go. <laughs> so yes. Go. Carol, sorry, I, I didn't mean to say, um, thank you, but thank you very much um, for saying you like the card. Um, and hello to you as well. So we are going to pick a winner for this one right now. Now I saw a comment about turning the closed caption off. Now that must be something on Facebook. It is, yeah. Um, I don't know how to turn that off because over on YouTube it's, I think I it's think quite easy to turn it off. it's your own setting. Yeah, it might be your own settings over on YouTube. Robin, so, I think it yeah. was. So good, so let's go over to the Wheel of Names. Is there any last minute names you can just see in there quickly? Uh, nope, I think I've got everyone. Yeah? Yeah. Excellent. So we're wow. going to go over to the Wheel. Yes, switcher if you have. I have asked a question. Oh, no, yeah, I don't. You have. <laughs> yes. All right, so if you've left a comment, then you are in the draw. So good luck, everyone. Cool. So the wheel is going to pick the winner. Who's it going to be? And the winner is. Oh, Tilly! Tilly, Tilly Crafts. Congratulations. Excellent. Congratulations there, Tilly. 
if you would please email us barry and jay at matusucrafts dot dot <laughs> start again shall we <laughs> barry and jay at matusucrafts dot com um, with your full address please and please pop today's date the 27th of February 2022 in the subject line and we will pop that card in the post to you so congratulations Tilly amazing well done that card is yours and thank you so much everyone for joining us this evening don't forget to come back and pop in a comment on the YouTube video for a chance to win this card next Wednesday the 2nd I want to say it's the, yeah, it's the 2nd of March, isn't it? Yeah. So, oh, where's this year going already? March already. You say that every, say month. That every month. <laughs> Before we know it, it'll be Christmas again. Um, so, yes, so thank you all so much for joining us this evening. We'll be back, as Jay just said, on Wednesday. So, do to get your comments in. Um, oh, yes. Lovely. Anything else? No, no. Uh, I think last, so. uh, last day of celebration tomorrow, so do get your last final orders in if you would like to make the best of the celebration um, freebie items. So, yes. Yes, if you'd like to see more um, inspiration using celebration items, there's a blog up by the Stamp Review crew tomorrow uh, going live at 11 a.m., the 28th of February. Lovely. And also on Wednesday the 1st, an hour before we go live, there is the Stamp Around UK video hop as well. So that goes live at 6 o'clock and we will be live with you at 7 o'clock. Cool. Lovely. Excellent. See you again on Wednesday. Thank yes. you all so much for watching. Thanks everyone. See you later. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.